Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. This is Halo 3 DST, and I just noticed something. So normally, um, difficulty is represented by a shield with swords crossed over it. Um, in the original Halos, it's a sword and then a UNSD machete over it. So like, just the um, one of the types of knives that you can see a lot of people using, it's one of those. So for easy, it's just the normal shield. For normal, it's one machete. For hard, it's two, or heroic, rather. And for legendary, it's two machetes and a skull over it, either human or elite. Um, in this, they changed it to the energy sword because it's more iconic. But in uh, ODST, it actually had a unique one where the difficulty was the SMG that all ODSTs use and a human skull over it. The uh, other one was the other um, difficulties usually had a elite skull or a Sangheli I prefer. So you can see that a drop pod actually looks kind of comfy. I would not mind sitting in this thing one damn bit. Trash can with the zebra on it. So yeah, this is a this is a nature reserve. So we're playing as Dutch, I believe, and he starts with a Spartan laser. So something that I find kind of funny. Oop, invisible wall. Dutch is one of the more famous users of a Spartan laser. In fact, possibly the most famous. Oh, look at that! See how it compresses and compacts, and then when you take it out. You pop the top out. That's great. Oh, I love that. So yeah, Dutch is so famous for using a Spartan laser, even though it's called a Spartan laser. ODST is more famous for using it, and that's awesome. Wait. Are there pandas in Africa? Because <laughs> rhino and zebra, that makes sense. Tiger, I can see that. I'm not sure how many African tigers there are. I think most of them are Siberian tigers or... Like, India has a couple of tigers. Pandas? Black pandas, I think those are called. Or panda bears. Because a red panda is just called that. It's actually more like a raccoon or a, or a possum. But yeah, Spartan laser is notoriously difficult to use. Because... Firing it requires you to charge it up the whole way, and you can see it takes that long standing still. Trooper! Over here! Help us secure this vehicle! And that long is so much longer in the heat of battle. Um oh, it's a drop cage. So yeah, I imagine that they would drop they would lower rather, they probably don't ODST drop like endangered species into this nature preserve. But they would lower these cages down and the door would fall off or they would leave the door when it was taken, getting taken away. So yeah, they want me to secure this fucking... this thing. So yeah, check it. Despite the fact that I'm just a mortal man... Okay. Okay. You know what? Give me a second here, everyone. I've just been exploded to death, so I'm going to take a little moment here. Are there panda bears? Are there pandas in Africa? Wait, what? Pandas live mainly in Central Africa. This is someone's... Okay, this 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 isn't Wikipedia. I'm not going to trust that. Giant panda. Okay, they're called giant pandas, not black pandas. I was thinking about um bear like black bear, like the American black bear. Okay. Lives in a few mountain ranges in central China. 
Uh huh. Where does it live? Where does this fucking thing live? Okay, yeah, it shows the giant panda range. It's literally this this little like thing that looks like a chicken bone on a map of China. It's this tiny little area of China. Everywhere else is zoos. Yeah, the first link that said that pandas live in Africa was a link to someone's Prezi Trooper, that they made for over school. Here. Help us secure this vehicle. Anyway, my point was, oh my god, M New Mombasa is so beautiful. Despite not being a Spartan and being super strong and shit, I can still flip warthogs over. Sorry, I was just focusing there for a sec. Oh, I want this, but I want to keep all my other guns. Affirmative. Eh, I'll use this for a little more. There will be more carbines. Don't worry, I got gunners. Lost shotgun. Alright, let's do it. So yeah, I can still flip over a warhog. Don't ask me how. Oh boy. Get out. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> I had no deaths until this stupid fucking level. Uh, I'm not salty, I'm just bemused. Trooper! Over here! Help us secure this vehicle! That was so much overkill. See, the fact that they start you with a Spartan laser allows you to perform, like, soldier to vehicle combat much sooner in a level. Like, I don't need to get in that vehicle, and it's proven to be nothing but trouble. So I'm not going to. At least in this life. Maybe I'll reconsider it. As I mentioned, one of the reasons that Halo was so revolutionary was because of uh, the ability to make levels a lot bigger. Because Come now on. you had a, 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 a car to run around in. Oh god, it's already empty? Shit, man. What in God's... Trooper, get the Warthog and drive. No, I don't wanna. God, blew up, huh? Give me this. Dude. Dude, that's not cool. That is so not cool. Hey everyone, I'm getting in the Warthog. You fucking happy? You know, not that I can shoot anything in this. I can do this. That was the wrong button. Come on, come on. Get off the roof, get off the roof, get off the roof. Does whatever Spartan can. Try again, huh? If one of you runs me over, I'm going to find whoever voice acted you, go to their home and strangle you. Oh shit, that's the wrong button. Halo was not really made for mouse and keyboard. I mean, it literally wasn't. It was developed for Xbox 360 pads. And then it just so happened to get ported to PC, and then Halo 2 got a... 
Don't even think Halo 2 was on PC. Intel. Okay. We're on our way. Dude, don't. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go. So, um. Scattered, dead. I don't know. That's too bad. We're gonna need all the men we can get. Oh, that's friendly. It's me. Sorry. So one of the things very indicative about uh, Halo driving is that when I saw the Bungie devs um, showing a, uh, a Halo level, they did not allow the AI to drive. They instead forced Cat to hop out. They were demoing uh, Halo Reach. They forced Cat to hop out and they drove themselves. Even while trying to show off all the aspects and the things that they worked on, even then they were still like, no, we're not allowing them to drive. Uh, I love ghosts. As I've mentioned, uh, most of the Covenant um, ships and vehicles are named after Earth... Earth ghosts or undead. And uh, so you have things like the Wraith, the Phantom, the Ghost. And the Ghost is what I'm on now, and it is my favorite. I love this kind of thing. It's a hovering um, motorcycle with not a lot of shielding or armor. Hold fast! Hit it! Target down! Target down! Oh, no. What in God's... That better not be my ghost you just blew up. Is that a... It is. Oh, wow. I'm going to have some fun. Lucky me. Wow. Um. Okay, good. Here's another ghost. <sighs> okay. Oop. It's green turn. Checkpointing. I've just forgotten the name of these things. Banshees? Essentially flying... Oh, wait, no. Is that... What am I... I'm driving a ghost, right? Yeah, this is a ghost. I'm always curious how in vehicular combat the enemy figures out, Hey, wait. They're not driving casually enough. That isn't one of ours at all. I feel like dog fighting from the ground with something flying... That'll do. I mean, I hate to use this thing so early. I'm not sure what profiteering is. I assume that it is... Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever used this um, in Reach, and it was the shooter I most recently recorded, but being a brute weapon has this big fucking spike on the tail that can be used to shoot bitches. I want to have a more reliable gun. Okay. Oh, you can see the pilot there. Ah, uh, and water hot dogs. And fish! It's a fish. Oh, hey. Nice of you to drop by. Where were you when I needed help? Oh, man. This game is so well made. Look at how fucking beautiful this place is. Like, we have the majesty of nature and like, oh, man, Earth is great. Fucking space war over here. Like, look, you can see massive burn scars on the tower. This part can be kind of difficult. 
because of things like this. It is a brute vehicle. Shouldn't have gotten out. Should have relied on my shields. Actually, there's. I think that thing just blew up. Okay, let's go this way this time. Wait, I think I already went this way. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, that's a thing called a brute chopper. They're mean. Last mag. Shade turret. Let's just see if we can't. I had no idea that fuel rods had drop. Wait, why is the wing like that? It's all screwy. Oh, well, that's perfect. Good looking out. Oh, boy. Low on ammo. I'm fucking storming Normandy over here. See, that's a brute chopper. It's one of the few uh, brute made vehicles. Brutes are way more prodigious in the way of uh, weapon making. They've actually gotten to space a couple of times and then were sent back to Earth because they, like, essentially bombed themselves back into the Stone Age. Isn't that just funny? It's like, Ray, he ain't on your wedding day. Don't back into me. Virgil. I get I know that there's likely nothing besides boys. <gasps> Don't worry, I know how to drive one of these. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sorry, I just Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, you're alive. You know, I was hoping to kill you quickly by just blowing you up. I mean, I guess I still did that. I was hoping to crash in you with my uh, space car. I love the idea of cars that can strafe. How could you ever defeat that? You can't fuck with that. That's too powerful. Glass this. In progress, homie. More cages. Like, what an interesting detail. It's like, yes, this is a nature preserve. And, like, they have these, like, semi-paved roads. I love that idea. So, I love casual camouflage in certain games. Like, um, Metal Gear Solid uses a lot of, uh, ideas about camouflage. Ooh, that one was red. Was it red? Oh, fuck. What is the objective, Colonel? You know the Covenant carrier that took away from the city? We need to secure its old LZ. Snatch a tier one asset. I don't know if anyone heard that, and they didn't have subtitles, but... Dutch asked what the mission is now, and, uh... The officer he's responding, uh, that was he was responding to, said, Secure a tier one asset, which we are in progress of. Wow, look at that thing. Space elevator? Fuck yes. It's awesome. Rhino mania. Um. What the fuck was I talking about? Because I got distracted by this, and then dialogue started. Semi paved roads is a thing that I said. Oh my god, I just completely blanked on whatever the hell I was saying. It sounds like this when I wonder why I'm a Let's Player. <laughs> K-1 
can't remember shit. You know what? I've decided I'm going to backtrack and go the other way, since I think that it'll be a little bit more useful. I would love to make a game like this. ODST was legitimately just so neat. Oh, man, this game's good. Okay, yeah, it just leads to the same place. Why is that there? It's cool, but why? I think that Halo Wars, now that I've had some time, I think Halo Wars was a legitimately good idea. Oh, there is a boost. It's just on the... I've been hitting the wrong button for it. Where's the colonel? <laughs> Down near the Covenant LC. Once we clear this enemy armor, we can roll across All the All right. Location. Let's pop some heads, huh? Is that a... Oh, I popped him. <laughs> oh, huh. Well, that ain't good. Shoot to kill. Great. Oh, look at that. You can see it in the viewfinder. That's awesome. Like, one of the things about this game is that, like, because of all the vehicles and all the different, like, tactics and the, like, very real view of militaries on display... Trying to lead the target there, but I'm also a fucking shit shot. Right into the hood, huh? Wow, that was terrible. One of the things about all the militaries is that it does make sense to, like, have a game where having those militaries fight is the mechanic. So I'm going to use this for a little more. Where's the colonel? Where's the colonel? Now I switch. Ah, boop. Yeah, that ain't good. You know, before I bring up sound desync, it's important to remember that the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. So sometimes it is possible for you to hear things after you see them happen. Usually that is not while you're standing right next to something. But that's just usually, you know? I'm not a scientist or anything, I just know science. I know of it, you know? I haven't met science. Honestly, sometimes vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle combat in this game is kind of feels bad. In, in ships like this, where it's like, it's a big gun up front. <laughs> it's a big gun up front, and then it's a weak backside. It, now it almost transforms into like a Mario Party minigame. In fact, it is a Mario Party minigame. It's, it's that one where you're trying to... You've got, like, a balloon on your butt, and um, you're in a little go-kart, and you're trying to pop other people's balloons. So, yeah, this is a Brute Chopper. It doesn't hover, and it's a lot slower and chunkier. It doesn't boost because it has a rocket, like a, a, a space rocket. It has a fucking ugly, like, gasoline-powered fuck rocket. It's this ugly piece of shit that just chews through the landscape. Like, look at how much fucking dirt this is kicking out. And instead of firing, like, smooth, liquid-cooled plasma weapons, it shoots these fucking chunks. Like, this thing is such a piece of trash, but, like, it's so in-character for Bruce, and I love that. I love the idea of, like, oh, this is the fine elven-made sniper rifle. This is your... How does it feel to be shot by your own artillery? Oh, wait, I'm not... I'm vehiculary. Oh, wait, that's the... Well, when life gives you lemons. Oop, don't get these screens airs. Oh, I can do this. I can do this, in fact. I'm the fucking God of War.
Oh my god, a lot of screen tears. Some freezings. That time to reload. I'm trying to leave the tark a little bit. Damn it. Oop. Landed right in front of it, but it might slow me down a little Wanna see how real men fight? <laughs> Nothing like just seeing your screen filled to bursting with plasma. Oh, hey fam. Is that a Spartan laser? Um, hi. Yeah, I need this. I need this a lot, in fact. I don't know if you'll do better with the, uh... Alright. Jesus. Oh, oh, that's a friend. Hey. Nice digs, fam. Slick. Oh, man. This, this level's so good. The early levels in ODST really, like, show the game's potential. I don't feel like it drops off, but maybe it doesn't, like, uh... It just doesn't... I don't know this. Buddy. Wow, there he goes. Actually, why don't we do this? Okay, fine, that's why I'm wrong. Perfect. I feel like the game just doesn't escalate as much as it could. Although, I might change my mind on the replay. Look at how beautiful this is. It actually reminds me of an area in Metal Gear Solid V. Uh, the Phantom Pain, specifically. Trooper, drive towards the space elevator. It'll lead you to the bridge. Space elevator? I love that. Another snipper rifle. Is it more clay world? Because that's why I say snipper rifle. There's a lot of them here. Move your ass, Trooper. Get across the bridge, now! Oh, shut up. I outrank you. Turret's mine! Oh, ready. Ooh, I want this. Damn. Oh, I got a spare rocket out of it. That's nice. Yeah, it's one of the it's one of the bases in Afghanistan. I think it's the one where they have Sahelanthropus. Which is the name of the metal gear in that game, by the way. Look at these drinking fountains. They thought of everything. Like, I really feel like I'm in a park. It's it's good it's good set dressing for your level. And I love that. That all you got? Okay, we got plasma cannons. Really, all we got up here, huh? Well, let's see if we can't find. Laser up! Where am I going, by the way? That way? Okay, that makes sense. Such, such good set dressing. I feel like this game could be better at like. Last bag. Getting getting huge and being like, oh shit, you know. But the the nature of the um, storytelling that isn't in order, and like jumping back and forth in time. Big zebras. So I haven't seen my brother in a couple of months. Nothing against him. I just can't travel in the quarantine. Um. No, I love space elevators, though. That's a really impressive effect, happened? by the way. Subspace rupture must have weakened the support rings. Oh, you 
Oh, wow. And, and that's getting dragged up into the sky because it's being pulled out of our gravity. Oh my god, that's so cool. And the rings are falling. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually really cool. I was uh, about to tussle with you. I thought you were an enemy. Yada yada. Keep driving uphill, trooper. It's the only way out. Okay. I never saw a fiber game that had uh, some wasted potential, but I have no fault of the developer. As far as I know, it was just Kojima being ruled by Konami. It will not go any more that way. Now let, let's mow down some fellas. Having the enemy, uh, having the um, player be a little more vocal is a, a, a game decision I'm never sure of. It works when you're very sure of a character, like, um, it can work for Deadpool, or, or like a Spider-Man, where it's like, yeah, I know what they are, I know where they're coming from, I, I know what they're gonna do. I will laugh in your blood. But it can also be used to, like, flesh out a character that you wouldn't get, have that for. But the problem I normally have with it is that they just don't record enough fucking voice lines. Like, um, the Deadpool game, the, the, like, original game by, um, I think High Moon Studios did it. That's based off of, you know, just all Deadpool shit. And X-Men stuff, because uh, Deadpool is technically an X-Men character. Um... Deadpool, it is a, you know, quote-unquote funny game. And Deadpool says various hilarious things in gameplay. Um, however, by the end of the game, you'll have heard each one, like, 50 or 60 times. I mean, that might be generous. You might have heard those, like, 300 fucking times. And, and that's just something that I hate. There's these T's everywhere, and I don't know what they are. I just, yeah, I, I hate hearing the same voice lines over and over again. Because when it's something like Devil May Cry, where every action has a specific voice line, this really looks like Destiny right here. But yeah, in, in Devil May Cry, every action has a specific voice line that is going to be done for that. So like, Stinger has the same shout, and it's always that same, yeah! Um, sorry, I'm just listening to music. Right oh, wow. Oh, hey. That's a reference to the Middle Earth. You are heading for a sprint. Woo! I just got an achievement for killing five thousand enemies. How about the idea of having achievements cumulative across the entire franchise? The Master Chief Collection is too good of a game. Like, it's like that, um... I mean, it'll have probably been out for a couple of months now by the time this episode comes out, but uh, the Mario game that is just Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Sunshine, um, and Super Mario Galaxy, or excuse me, Galaxy Super Mario Super. Um, like, how is that not going to be the game of the year? Because it's the culmination of three almost game of the year, or game of the year. And like, yeah, that's just gonna be game of the year, and it's not fair, because like, it's a great game, and we're just making it again. Good frame job. Gonna have to find a new weapon, hopefully something that won't explode if I shoot too close to my own body. Love to have a carbine right around. I think this is, 
might be a track from a future Halo game, although it might have a remix for uh, Misty. By the way, I love that. I love when it's like, oh, same game, new theme. Well, why don't we just remix the OST, yeah? Oh my god, that's the wrong button. Reloading! Oh yeah, I had a spiel earlier. If you're making a game and the character will ever say anything, make sure you have enough fucking voice line recording. I do not want to have a situation like the Deadpool game where I hear that same fucking stupid fucking corny voice line a thousand times. That should not be a worry. I should not have to think about that. Oh, damn it! It's vehicles, you know? It's, it's that they added vehicles. That's what's fucking with it. Oh no, now I have to hear more of this. I see this sigil everywhere, this, this little sign. It's also on some of the ghosts. And I'm not sure if it was added recently. I don't remember it from the, um... I don't remember it from the textures of the earlier games, but I might have been because, uh... You know, just playing them on low-res TVs. I haven't played Halo 3 in a couple of years. not blow my cover this way. Let's just melee you. Grab this. I think profiteering is uh, an achievement for it. Yeah, you can see it there too. Oh, you're not you're not dead. Bitch. Ah, well, that could be a problem. No. <laughs> oh. Dude, that guy just took the shot. He, he literally walked in front of that tank and kicked down this guy. Jeez, oh, peace. Like, how do how do games get made where the protagonist says something funny in combat? And the like bug testers are like, hey, this voice line is really annoying. Can you do fucking anything about this? I'm trying to play it unsafe here. I love to hijack one of these things, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Yeah, something that I've mm, done a couple of times previously is that you can use the plasma, you can use the, the big burst of the plasma pistol to EMP. Oh god, EMP a, a, a thing. And then it stops it from moving, which makes it much easier to track its, its movement. Oh, having having weapon switch on one is kind of inconvenient for me. Because I have big fingers, though. It shouldn't be a problem for most people. Alright, now give me your gun. Thank you. Now I have gun. What's a beef stroganoff? My mom makes a fucking bitch in beef stroke. Oh, sorry, Carbine. Like salt, pepper, noodles, cream mushroom soup, hamburger meat. God. I, I would like to shake the hand if I ever thought of that. What a great little meal. You can put peas in there. I usually drink, uh, I usually have mine and I drink milk in the Yeah, they want me to drive through here, but I'm not sure if I have a car. Can I jump it? You can't. Oh, my car! It teleported here. 
<laughs> this is a longer episode. Ah, uh, Lord, I didn't train to be a pilot. Tell me I don't have any more flying to do today. Oh my God. <laughs> so, was that a yes or a no? Yeah, it'd be a longer recording, but I wanted to do the whole thing in one uh, one episode. Amen. See, so yeah, I've been Alfred. Um, this has been Halo Reach. That was Uplift. Yeah, Uplift Reserve. There it is. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for coming by. And I've done every part of my outro. Okay, cool.